We're called to order at 506. Um, and I don't think we had any minutes to approve from last time. No, but you know what we should. Um, okay. I well, saw there. in an email there were no minutes. There actually should be minutes because we called it to order and then we moved to go into executive session. Okay. So there should be a there should be minutes saying that was the day it you know began at what time, who was there, and then motion was made by so and so to go in executive session. Then it just says nothing. And then it'll no, come I out and say um, executive session ended at such and such time, motion to adjourn the meeting. But the actual meeting, which sandwiches the executive session, has to be recorded with minutes. I did. I did do the minutes for that. Oh, um, okay. And I probably sent them to Katie, actually. <laughs> and I, I definitely. Thought was, <laughs> I thought it was Katie's email that says there were no minutes, so maybe she saw that. Maybe she didn't know that those were minutes. But that's all we have to do. Oh, okay. Just the same with. And I think, you know what, she asked me about it. And so I probably was under the impression because I knew that I had seen Janie's minutes for like the informal minutes for like our executive session. So, um, so should I just say, should we just move then to approve the minutes and we'll get them from Katie? Uh, sure. Let's just postpone. Or I can, I, yeah, I can, I can send them. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just review them at the next meeting, whenever that is. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Janie. Sure. Okay, then are we then we are good to start with our agenda? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So thanks for coming, Martha. I was glad that you and Kathy connected to talk about a revised timeline so that we can have more staff input. Uh, I think this is pretty new for all of us. So I was <laughs> you two connected and so you can enlighten I have no I, I am not sure about what happened the last time you guys <laughs> interviewed so I'm glad that you're here to share with us mm -hmm. um yeah I mean last time we interviewed directors it's like sorry I'm just clattering in my kitchen um uh was like 10 years ago and typically we've we've had some sort of staff component um when we've when we've hired directors usually there's an opportunity i'm sorry my alarm to pick up my son is going off but it's <laughs> i already have <laughs> um uh so we've uh usually had like an opportunity for staff to meet uh the the finalists for the the director position um i think the last time we interviewed we didn't have department heads but um so we we don't have a specific model for that i have seen um from other libraries have like a separate meeting with the candidates and um the management team and um and then one with like the general staff um so we we discussed that and um just basically opportunities for um for staff to be involved and I, I have some dates um some potential ideas i was thinking that maybe um it would make sense uh for uh, maybe to have like the candidate come in we could do like a brief tour then have them meet with the department heads and then for like half hour 20 minutes and then the the rest of the staff mm -hmm. um and just have it all on one day to kind of keep things simple um if that works so what for time you guys frame total would you anticipate per candidate per candidate Sounds like an hour or so. Yeah, I would say an hour, but I would probably on the calendar block out 90 minutes just to be safe. Um, I mean, with the idea of keeping it to an hour, but um, I plan, I, I tend to be a plan for contingencies kind of type of person. Right. So, um, um, okay. And I think when t Kathy and I had originally drafted our timeline, we had planned for staff to meet, um, to staff for you to staff to meet with the candidates and do a tour. I don't think we had expected it to be um, that long, but um, so you're thinking that would be the next step after the first interview, right? That they would come in, have a tour and meet with department heads. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it would be, I guess, um, yeah, I'm not sure about the order of that, but yeah, um, I, I think that would probably be a good um, next step. Okay. That. Yes. And then you, I think there was another step too, right? Another staff meeting after that one that was in your original notes? No, or I, I had put, um, I put a meeting with like the general staff and the meeting with the department heads, but I think we could just do that on the same day to keep it oh. straightforward. Okay. Um, unless there's a burning desire to split them into two days, which is your prerogative, I guess. But, um, so but yeah, I this just, this would follow the interview with the trustees, or would precede it, or would be on a different. I I think that could be up to you, um, as far as as how you want to to approach that. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any strong feelings on that order. I don't know if you you did or not. But it could be on the same evening. On the same week? Same evening, same time, same night. Oh, same night. The the board interview and the staff interview? Yes. Oh, well, then it, it would definitely be over an hour at that point is the only thing. And I think, Kathy, since we've already reached out to the candidates and we have a first interview set for... October 13th, I think we stick with that because we've already um, said that we want to meet with them over Zoom. And, yeah. and if we are, if we like all of the candidates, we could just, everybody could, and we could move everyone to the second interview if, but I think, um, I think, uh, I think it, let's keep to October 13th, which is Thursday as the first interview for um, the candidates and then and then we would do the staff interview and have the, um, that second part on the other, another date that you guys decide. And we could always do another, yeah. So I, I think that would be good since we've already contacted the, in, the candidates to let ask them about a first interview. And I think Martha, in your notes, you had said it was fine for the first interview to be with just trustees. Right. Oh yeah, um, you were talking about the screening interviews with the yeah. HR committee. Yeah, I think that's yeah. that's fine. When um, I think earlier when we were talking about the board interview, I was um, I assumed you meant full board. Um, oh well, we did invite any board members that wanted to attend the meeting to to attend on Thursday. Okay. So just um, in informally, if I could, I'm just trying to kind of prop this out. So if we, for instance, on the eight on the 17th, um, let's say we narrow it to two or three uh, trustees. If we have, for example, a six o'clock interview, assuming it would be over between 645, 650-ish, then we could turn that over to the staff, which would be like seven until let's just say eight, or whenever, Martha, if you were hosting that, whenever it concluded naturally. Sure. We wouldn't have to see the candidate again. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second candidate, we meanwhile will be interviewing seven to eight and then turning it over to staff eight to nine. And again, whenever it naturally concluded. And then your committee, your group would give then feedback to the staff. We'd obviously have to get started earlier. Now I'm seven, six, seven to eight, six or seven, seven to eight. But you're so anyway, we'd have to play with the time and maybe do two and two was kind of thing or depend, I don't know quite what we're doing here, but I'm just trying to figure out how to structure an evening, what's enough and what's too much to handle. Because hmm. you would want to have time with staff to gather feedback. Yeah. And then you'd want to share that with the trustees. Yeah. So you were envisioning doing the full board meeting followed by meeting the staff all on the same day and then- We were envisioning, yes, uh, meeting, okay. having an interview. And Bonnie, this is new to you too, so we'll, we'd love to hear from you. Um, have, interviewing an individual, we haven't really figured out that time yet. Um, mm -hmm. And then the next step of this interview would be meeting, we had envisioned you, certainly Eliza, and other mm -hmm. staff members, as I, we would leave that up to you guys for a tour, so to speak, and then a meet and greet and a, you know, impressions and visit, so forth. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
after you've seen one or two or possibly three, I think three is going to be pushing it, but two candidates then creating some kind of feedback to go back to the board. Mm -hmm. And we'll be doing the same. We'll be rehashing after the visit with mm -hmm. um, the candidates. And just to clarify, Kathy, this is for the second interview, correct? That, yes, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I um, my initial top of mind reaction would be we have four candidates on Thursday this week for the HR committee. Right. I think I, I'm aligned with you, Kathy, in that I think it would be most efficient to probably bring two candidates forward then for the, the staff uh, touch point and tour, followed by a meeting with the board. I think that maybe at that, if those two events are on the same evening, which would be super efficient, I think for the candidates themselves, maybe the non HR committee board members kind of take the lead a little bit there. Or if we as an HR committee debrief after Thursday, and there might be one or two things that we wanna dig a little, little deeper on at that full board, meeting slash interview with the two candidates. So um, I, I, I think it's, I think it is possible to do it on the, to, to have two candidates on a date <laughs> um, and do both the staff intros tour and the board, full board interview. It'll be busy. I mean, it'll, it'll yeah. be busy. I, I don't want to in any way limit full board participation, um, questions, impressions, uh, inquiries. I mean, I think you know, we have a lot of good points of view that have to be explored. So I want to be sure. But if we, if we, I think it was your suggestion, we put aside a, an hour. Um, it doesn't have to be all filled, but it's their time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I, I think we definitely all agree that we anticipate um, shor uh, shortening the list. If, I mean, if, I guess if we don't, that's just to our advantage if we've got such good candidates. But we would kind of expect um, not advancing four to a final interview. And if we do, we go to the second night. That's all we have to do. Martha, if you could give some thought to your end of it, your, your hour presentation, meeting, and just try to give us a little structure to it so we can kind of anticipate time and what you're thinking of. And, and um, when you say meeting the whole staff, what did you have in mind there? Um, really just an opportunity for staff to um, meet the candidates, ask questions about, um, ask questions of them. Um, kind of similar to what we do for really any position at the library. Um, I, I've been debating whether or not we wanted, like as far as the staff side of it to give it more structure, because usually what happens is we're like, okay, uh, you know, we're gonna put you in the staff room with uh, staff for like 15 minutes and we'll leave and um, just kind of let them chat. And it's it's pretty uh, self-directed by, by staff. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how much we want to adjust that um, for the director, at least as, as far as, because we, there is value in just kind of letting people talk with them, you know, and usually we will observe like some sort of time limit, like after, you know, 15 minutes or whatever, someone will go in and get them. So we can definitely like put an end to it. Um, uh, I don't think I answered that question. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I, 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 I don't think you can answer it until, because we're kind of hashing it over, so I don't expect you to yeah. put it together right now, but just give a thought in the next couple of days what you sure. would anticipate in structure and time. And I'm actually thinking right now of place. I know we, we had to kind of wiggle our way into the Spruth room because mm -hmm. it's set up for the um, ghost walk. Is there another room in the library that would even be available at that um, time? It depends on what day. Um, well, we would, I think we're looking at the 17th for sure. Yeah, the 17th we could, I know we had arranged, um, beyond that, uh, there's the 26th, 
um, I think is the next available one, um, which is a Wednesday evening. Um, and then November 2nd, November 9th, November 16th, which are all Wednesdays. Um, this Tuesday. Is, this is what, where? This is. This is, I think, youth activity room because, okay. uh, and spruce room, I think is, it, it, I think the spruce room's available on the 16th. Um, We've also got Tuesday the eighth. Um, okay, let's and, let's just kind of hope. Okay. I, my first impression is I, I jump. We, we could lose a good candidate if we wait that long, so we want to keep that in mind. Um, mm -hmm. You know, another um, such another thought that we could have as a as a committee here and a board is that we stick to the seventeenth, and I'm going to presume that we're going to have. At the most three candidates and i'm i mean i'm thinking probably one i mean perhaps not but let's just say we are we could start this process at 5 p.m it doesn't mean that every trustee or every board member or every staff member is going to be available when we're trying to do this but it would give us i think the majority of interested individuals participate in the process and then if we went five to six six to seven seven to eight and we're cycling two different types of forums um we could get the job done and then we'd have time for re recap anybody want to weigh in on that i don't want to overdo it but um, the, the only thing um i don't know if you like for the candidate um like an opportunity to eat might be good um because it is going <laughs> yeah over. they would know that's true but they're not i don't think any one candidate would be with us from five until nine okay all right you're not envisioning no, no, we're not going to tell the corner until <laughs> okay. everybody goes home yeah. Um, yeah I think okay. the other thing to consider is that one of the candidates could be an internal candidate in which case the tour and the other things oh right <laughs> Martha we do have the room for the 17th right yes yeah okay good We could also, I mean, if food is, we can always bring in food. I mean, I just, I'm beginning to wonder where we would put it at this point. <laughs> but well, anyway, I think how, how's stuff. the uh, how's the straw reading room? <laughs> <laughs> Good way to break it in. Yeah, well, I think it's a the soft nice, launch. I think the nice thing is that we have a little time, Martha. Mm -hmm. So I, I think probably if you could kind of sit down and kind of think out what your timeline would be and like have add a little structure to how you think it would go when you're meeting with the candidates, then we can kind of fill in, we're gonna know a little bit more, I think on Thursday, where we're gonna kind of land with some of the candidates. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I, I haven't gotten back to Katie, but I, you know, I did, I wasn't sure if we were gonna have time to do all interviews on uh, um, Thursday. So I, I know that's something that we have to talk about tonight. So, um, but I think after Thursday, we're gonna, at least we'll have met with the three external candidates. So we kind of have an idea of, I think we'll have a better idea of how, what our, what our time needs are gonna be. But maybe in the interim, Martha, you could kind of think of, of like what the structure would be. Because I think too, once we follow up with the candidates, we're gonna wanna give them an idea of like what their timelines are gonna sure. be, so what to expect. Like if they're going to meet with staff, that it's going to be an informal, you know, and if, if it's an interview with department heads, that would be important for them to know so they can prepare. Sure. Well, and I'll be able to, um, our department head meeting is on Thursday, and I think I haven't had a chance to meet with the other department heads since we started discussing this. So um, on th after Thursday, I should also have a better idea of uh what's what's happening with us too and have a chance to at least discuss some of that with with them because i think right it sounds like our big question is is are we going to do everything are we going to be able to meet with all the candidates that night with the staff and with the board and fit it all within the 17th is mm -hmm. that right that's kind of our big question and i think yeah I, so i think maybe if you could think about where you're going to go and then once we have a better idea of how things are going to look on thursday and afterwards when we're able to talk. I think then maybe we can all reconnect mm -hmm. in a way. And how does everybody feel about if we ask Martha to consider 
uh, and I'm not saying this has to be the way it's done, but considering keeping the staff portion to an hour. Um, yeah, I think that's, that should be more than manageable. Okay, um, because then it, it allows us to kind of think in hourly increments and try to figure this whole thing out. Um, thank you, Mark, you're always great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, thank you for making time for us. Yeah, sure. Um, was there anything else that we might have missed um, that you wanted to tell us that we need to know? I don't think so, um, <laughs> but I know your emails. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Well, I'm so glad that you and Kathy talked and that so we were able to kind of make sure that we're, we're, we're getting everything, making sure that everyone has input for this because it's a really important decision. Sure. So, Martha, will you guys have a form or anything that the staff will fill out? I can make one. Okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know. I you were on. I probably didn't. We ha do have a candidate rubric that the um, that the sorry that the board is going to be using. If you want mm -hmm. me to send that to you, so yeah, you, sure. If you can, if you want to jump off that for, I know you guys will probably have something a little bit more specific. You know, probably, but it, it at least. Kind of touches on the big, on the big things that we're looking for. So yeah, sure. Yeah, if you want to send that to me, I can um, put together a web form, and we should not have as many issues with the web form <laughs> this time around. <laughs> it, it worked out great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be great if um, just to have some kind of because um, are your department heads going to provide feedback, or everyone's going to provide? Like, I, yeah, I think everyone who. Okay. has a chance to meet with the candidates um, would probably provide feedback. Um, okay. Department heads might have more specific feedback. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Um, can I ask you one other question? I asked yeah, sure. you, but just, do you guys have like a reference, a reference form, any kind of thing that when you're reaching out to references that you fill out? Oh, no. No. Sorry. No, that yeah, no. Do what do you guys do when you reach out to references? Um, you know, I think we just ask pretty general questions. It's been a while since I've hired, so um I'll double check with Katie because I know she's hired more recently than I okay. have and see if if there are stock questions that we ask. Um because yeah, I'm I mean it could be just mom brain um but i'm not, <laughs> I'm not thinking of anything sorry we're doing a sleep you know, Martha, right when now when you're touching base with katie would you do me a favor because i forgot to do this would you also ask her or perhaps thought you would know where i can get um, a copy of the employee manual i'm supposed to be doing some research on the benefits and oh, i know it's okay. an employee man manual but i don't know if that's a book or something digitally or whatever so maybe if you could if you know, please let me know yeah. or ask Katie. Um, I can I um, I can email it to you. Actually, I know where oh. where it is. Um, so references, and I'm just writing this down so I don't forget. Um, email personnel manual. Um, okay. All right. I've Great. added Thank that to my to-do list. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, Martha. You're welcome. Um, I'm assuming you don't need me anymore. Um, who is most comfortable with Zoom? Okay. You, Bonnie, I'm going to make you the host. Yay, hey, Bonnie. Um, <laughs> and then the only thing is... Um, when you go into executive session, you will want to stop the recording. Um, and yep, I see the stop button, the pause and the stop buttons up here. Yeah. And then it'll just automatically upload the recording and we'll do what we all usually do with board meetings, um, which is posted on the website. Oh, okay. And okay. I, at some point I'll reinitiate the recording when we just, you know, adjourn the meeting, leave executive session and adjourn the committee meeting. Correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wait, Martha, can I ask you one other, I'm sure. sorry, one other question? Sure, sure. Um, I 
we need to send out a link to the candidates for the Zoom interviews. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be the person? So it sounds like Bonnie, um, well, we have to talk about it, but, um, and I just am not sure how that would work. Do we need to each, do we need to, will we like have a whole, the same link for Zoom interview for each person or do we need to give each person a different link? Um, it would be separate meetings. So you would need to give each person a different link. Okay. So do I need to give you their names or anything or do you do you send us the email and we email them the link? Um, we could do we could do it that way where um, I create the meeting. The only thing that I'll need to double check is to make sure. Well, maybe I can make one of you the co-host. I, I, and... I can I can issue Zoom oh. invites off of my Loyola account. Okay. Um, I'm just not sure. I'll have to look and make sure that the link doesn't repeat itself. I would make them each a separate meeting. Mm -hmm. Does the link identify the organization hosting? Because I don't want to mislead anybody. Yeah. Um, I, and that, and I also, what, before we, what Martha is suggesting, since we're doing separate meetings, is we have to post each of these meetings. Um, so... Oh. So, oh, do are, yeah, would we they do be because, do we because they'd be they'd be major. They're basically is an HR meeting. Okay, but to to interview candidates, we have to make those open to the public. If three Janie, if three or four trustees are meeting together on a topic, it's an open meeting. So yes, it has to be posted, and then it goes into executive session. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and then, yeah, and then we'd have to come out of executive session when we're done and then adjourn. Mm -hmm. So Bonnie, you'd have to be posting or sending out several links. So I yeah, think better. And, and my Zoom meeting link does start with LUC for Loyola University, Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. So if it has to be a public meeting, then um, it's probably better that we do that through the library's account. Yeah. Um, and then uh because then it will upload then we'll have to post it too and then we'll upload all the, the recording stuff to our account um and then you'll just have to remember to pause the recording for executive session yeah um but uh okay so i can um when i'm in tomorrow i can create the meetings and send you all the links and um I might have to figure out, I might have to figure out who has to start the meeting. Um, but I mean, worst case scenario, I can start the meeting and then pass it off to, to Bonnie. Um, You'd have to do it four times. That's all right. <laughs> if that's the hardest part of my week, I'm doing yeah. great. Good point. Good yeah. point. <laughs> and we okay. have to get those posted to sweet tomorrow because it's gotta be 48 hours. So for Thursday night, we would have to get those posted uh, whenever you're available to do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean, I can get that posted. I just need the, well, I'll need the times anyway to create the yeah. meetings. Um, so if you can send that to me, um, I will do that first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. And I'm, I'm sorry, not to make this more complicated. So, <laughs> not, so it's not possible to have one link, link because the other candidate would go into the waiting room and we would end, we would end a session with that first candidate and then start and then oh. let the other person in from the waiting room. Okay, so you're doing back to back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're gonna oh. be on continuous. I think the board members are planning to be on continuously. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, that, in that case, yeah, we could do the one link. That would not be a, a problem. Is, am I saying am I saying that right? I I had blocked for my on my calendar to like do the interviews back to back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, yeah, and that actually makes things a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, then I can create that meeting if you just send me the time. Okay. Um, and then actually, yeah, all the all you would need to do is Bonnie would need to like pause and stop the recording for the executive session bits. Um, so you, I, I would only have to start the meeting once, maybe, um, which makes that part a little bit more straightforward. 
Yes. It makes a lot more sense to me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't be in a zoom meeting without knowing other yeah. people are in on the zoom meeting, right? And with that few minutes. Well, you know, like one could sneak in and listen to another candidate. <laughs> one, right. one small wrinkle. I've never used the waiting room before. Oh, it's, um, it's pretty easy. If you, um, if you click on the participants icon yeah. Yeah. and it'll, um, once I've made you host, it will show like, um, you know, Martha has entered the waiting room and you just click admit when you're okay. ready yeah. to admit I see, someone. I see enable waiting room. It appears that it's on right now for our link. Yeah. And it'll be automatically. Okay. And if you want to, I'm, we might be able to test it before the meeting start. What time does the meeting start on Thursday that you're planning on doing this? We had scheduled our first um, interview for five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay. Um, I can we'll, probably make that So work. will all of the candidates need to need to sign in at five o'clock and then sit in the waiting room until we call no, them? No, no, they wouldn't. They would, they would sign in for like, most of them are probably going to be like 10 minutes early. Right. So, and I haven't set the whole schedule because I told them I would get back to them tonight to confirm the times after we talked. Um, so they would probably they would probably join the meeting at like 550. Uh, the second person would join it at 550. So we would say goodbye to the first our first candidate, you know, whenever we're finished with them, they could log off and then the rest of the board stays on. And then Janie, I'm sorry, and then Bonnie would admit the next person from the waiting room. So so would they when they log on, would they automatically get bumped to the waiting room? Yes, because yes. just, like, ah, okay. just like Kathy, when Kathy was logging on, she, you know, um, I, I don't think any of us automatically go into the meeting. Martha no. had to admit all of us. Yeah. So everyone always goes to the meeting room and then they're let in once the host sees, oh, I, this person's in the waiting room. I see. I didn't, didn't know that. But then... Okay. We wouldn't need three links, which might get confusing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we don't need Martha to log on three times. And yeah. So um, but yeah, it's it's pretty easy. It'll just um, anyone who's in the waiting room will show up in that participants menu, um, and then you just click admit. Um, and I mean, worst case scenario, I can log on and I don't know, click on things. Now, I've seen this in other meetings. I don't know where, but it works real pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Martha. So you sure. will get the link to us and you can post the meeting. Yes. Yes. Okay. I will get that posted. Um, I, there's not anything at the agenda is just like interviews with director candidates. It's yes. nothing. Okay. I will make sure that gets posted tomorrow morning. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Thanks, Martha. Martha. Night. I love, Bye. I love your yellow walls. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. So do we need a motion to move into executive session? Yeah. Uh, so moved. I second. Okay. So Janie is first. Kathy is second. And I will stop the recording. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right. So we just came out of executive session with the HR committee. It's currently 6.33 PM. And um, I think we're prepared for our Thursday, October 13th interviews. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Hey. We'll see you uh, Thursday. Uh, Jenny, thanks for all your work. You've, you've been great with all this. Yeah. Yeah, thanks so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. So I'll move to close the meeting. A second. Great. Talk to you guys on Thursday. All, All right. right. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye.